Hello, how's it going? So Taya here. Welcome to the third episode of my Roma Serectum 3 Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Uh, now, previously, with a couple of minor scuffles as we captured their uh, Raffia and Rinicalura, uh, I also managed to get some construction started uh, as I tried to build up my infrastructure. Uh, this episode is going to be pretty much in the same vein, but I will look to uh, try and find a battle or two, just to add a bit of action and entertainment. And uh, right on cue, here we've got some uh, brigands here we can deal with. Let's have a quick look around, see if there's anything else about. Nope. Yep. Hold on, here's some more. Yep, just a couple of units there. I'll come back to those in a minute. And uh, first things first, let's get our background script up and running. If you're new to the mod, don't forget to do that, or else you will have problems further down the line. Uh, the script might get corrupted, and uh, you may well have uh, a CTD across the desktop. Now, recap on uh, Antiochia. Um, I've got the governor there being retrained and we're recruiting another one, a general, and I'm going to put him in to Lady Akir, I think. Yep. Uh, actually, um, I might just leave that for a, a, a turn or two, there's no immediate rush, but I could be doing another couple of units recruited here for Demetrius's army that will be going uh, down to um, support Antiochus. Paul is an Ides, he'll be left behind here, he's staying. But I'm keeping him outside the settlement because I don't want him to be regional governor as that can prove quite costly once you bring him out. Um, he's going to be leading a, an army across the Taurus Mountains into Cappadocia here uh, later on as we progress. So what I'll do is um, I think I will, yeah, I'll put that uh, general back for a couple of turns and we'll recruit another unit of Epilectoi or should I get, oh, let's get the lighter Macaria for I. Uh, they're not as powerful as this unit but we'll get them just to add a little bit of colour and diversity to uh, Demetrius's army. We can actually recruit two of them, get them in the queue straight away. Um, we've got a couple of three of Faroi coming as well, of course. We'll get them retrained and we'll add them on, and then we'll send them, send them down to Antiochus. Now, uh, yeah, we can get them to take out that army on the way. Now, moving the back across here, um, we've got this little uh, raiding party here. They'll be causing a bit of a uh, trouble to the uh, trade road here out of Babylonia. It'll only affect the economy slightly, but when we, uh, the longer we leave them there, they may well cause devastation, and uh, we don't really want that to be happening. So, what we got in Babylonia? Or Babylon, rather. Uh, no, we can't really take them out. Um, I don't really want to take them out. But I've got uh, Aristarchus here. Now, he's a four-star command. And um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm going to use him to lead an army uh, up into Atropatain and Albania. There's a couple of um, rebel settlements up there. And if we can go up and take them, that'll be a pretty good strategic position to... Uh, deal with the uh, Armenia should they decide to backstab us and break their alliance. So yeah, well, I was going to bring him out anyway, I don't want him becoming a regional governor. But if we send him out to tackle these brigands here, it may well give him a bit of an experience, I would hope. Uh, now, we better not take the Katoikoi or the Pesheteroi, because if we incur casualties to them, we can't retrain them in there, or, I don't think we can do the same, no, we can't retrain them here, so uh, we don't really need them, I think I'll get away with just taking the levies, 
you know, the levy pikes here. Um, we can afford to take losses to them. They're they're um, expendable and uh, easily uh, retrained back in Opus. So Aristarchus will take the Tarentine cavalry, obviously, uh, the levy pikes, and I'll also take these Greek charts, Greek archers. We can use them tactically to help us whittle down whatever they've got here because we don't know, can't see what units they've got. So let's go and uh, find out. Okay, two units. One is the elite um, mercenary elite phalangites. Now they're going to be a lot stronger than um, my levy pikes, and they've got these eastern levy spearmen. Okay, uh, they're not particularly strong. All right, we should be able to deal with this. Okay, we'll get down to the, the battlefield and uh, see how they're set up, and then I'll sort of adjust my tactics to suit the needs and requirements of the field. The problem is going to be the elite phalanges, obviously, because they're pretty powerful, even though they don't have any upgrade experience. Victory! Is near at hand. If all do their duty, it will be our victory. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well. Okay, so we've got pretty flat terrain, so the more than likely be straight ahead of us. So we'll get the um, Balanjites up for us, the heavy pikemen rather up front. Just lift their pikes, take them off guard mods so that they don't get tired marching up there. Now we'll keep the cavalry just a little bit to the left here, I think the Tarantines and the archers as well. Like so and the general we'll put them on the uh, right flank as uh, I think that's generally and historical historically rather is where they used to go to the slightly to the right of the, the line. Okay, uh, let's find out where they are. Oh, straight ahead of us and got one in front of the other with the uh, Gemma. Yeah, but so did the um, phalangites at the back. So let's try and get up there with our levy pikes. To about there. Now, best keep the cavalry, the Tarantine cavalry back a little bit and I'll see a Gemma we we'll start running after him, same with our general. Bring him there, sort of out of, out of the line of sight. Because um, for those of you not experienced in Rome Total War, uh, the Rome Total War game, um, very often when you take your cavalry beyond the, the, the front line there, you'll get an infantry unit chasing after him. I know it seems mad, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> And uh, you just have to go on with it. Um, but you can exploit the AI a little bit uh, by keeping keep your cavalry back until such times as you really need to use them. But sometimes it doesn't always work just to flank straight away. Okay, we're all moving. I'll move, I'll move a bit faster at triple speed. It's up there a bit quicker. Get ready to bring these pikes down. There we go, just go straight ahead and attack them. And then once they engage, oh hold on, you don't want to fire. Oh, don't want to keep them javelins. Same with the archers. Put them into guard mode because you just want to hold them in place. These are not particularly strong, we should be able to defeat them okay. Quite a tidy looking unit actually, aren't they, considering they're mercs. Let's have a look at these uh, elite phalangites. Again, they look pretty good as well, don't they? Look at this detail. I mean, kudos to the modders of this uh, particular mod. I've said all along it's a terrific mod. I've always thought it was the best in my opinion. Alright, let's get these Tarantine up here. Put them in a 
skirmish mod. We'll send the archers up there, I'll run them up. Keep our general where he is for now. They're not moving, which is good. Now, if we use the tarn times to whittle these down a bit, should help. Meanwhile, we get the archers up here. Behind these fallen giants, where they can do the most damage by shooting them in the back. So just hold them in place. You guys just keep firing into them. Till your javelins run out. They should break, I would think, for much longer. And once the archers are in place, just take them back a little bit further, I think. Go on, go, go, go. Don't want to shooting over the top of these and killing our own men here. I should be able to bring our pikemen up. They've broken, there they go. So we'll bring our pikemen up to attack these. And we'll have these archers shoot them in the back. Tarantines haven't got any javelins left. But they can go and run down this, um, this one spearman here. Right. Get ready to put them into guard mode. So does he get too tired? They're winded at the moment. Let's just let them engage. Yeah, the archers are still reaching the, our men, look. We'll put them in guard mode. We just want to hold them there. And then we'll let them tire. Speed things up a little bit, it's just taking too long. Hey, uh, you go and get him, finish him off. And we'll bring you back down here. I think we can get our general up now. Have a look at them. They're winded now. Still 50 odd of them left, we want to whittle them down a little bit. Pikes are taking the casualties, but that's collateral damage. I expected that. Archers are finished now. They're tired, we want them to get to very tired. And then uh, we can get our general some action here. Once they're very tired, they should break, I would think, and we shouldn't take any casualties to our generals. Uh, bodyguard. Leave it a bit longer. I mean, we can always put Aristarchus back into, uh, into Opus and uh, he'll recover any losses that he has. Let's go for it. Take them off guard. Give the war cry, keep the general at the back there. He should have broken over the thought. There they go. The gods be Job praised! Done. The enemy's hearts are full of fear. The gods be praised. We took 14 casualties, that's a lot better than I imagined, I thought it'd take about 30 to 40 odd, that's pretty good. Be your end back as well. Victory! Ah, right, so we got a little bit of experience there. Send them back over, put them back in the settlement. Back in as well, and uh, no, they can't get in. All right, that will do fine for now. Right, let's hit that end turn. Then we've got my uh, we'll do some more um, micro management, see if we can get some more buildings started, and then uh, we'll take on that other band of um, brigands to give us another small battle.
Okay, here we go. City expands, that's it. Yarosalima, but we've got, we're already building there at the moment, so we'll just leave that till that's finished. Three city states. Right then, let's have a look at the national announcements. Engineering schools for Podalarius and Theodotus, that's good. And Alexander. Settlement. Oh well, we're bringing Aristarchus out of there anyway. Dimitri's got a Master of the Archers added to his uh, retinue, so that's quite handy. Alliance between Sparta and Rome. The recruitment, construction report. Right, let's get some more building work done. And um, start with Renacolura. Put their taxes up a little bit. And we'll get some dry farming in there. Raffia. Uh, now then, we don't need to build the militia train at the moment because we can get port lights there. So, uh, sorry, uh, Fallon, uh, pipe men there, so we'll recruit a unit of them. Got gold in them that are hills, look. So I think what we'll build in and uh, Raffia is the uh, share crop mining plus 450 a turn takes four turns 10 turns of recruit for money and there's gold there to be mined as well so we'll have that their taxes up a little bit help compensate for that build Laodicea uh, public orders fine there's no rush for a military train in there so what I think I'll do is um, See. Tax income, Hermes, increase in trade. Uh, Leodica is an economic region, so we'll put the strain of Hermes in there. Then once uh, that built, we'll put Demeter in as well. We'll just build that up. We'll use Antiochia as a as our military hub. Uh, yeah, Antikia. Yeah, we'll do it that with Antikia. Charax, we'll oh, definitely get a palisade in there. Keep out, keep any rebels at bay. Istikar. I think just um, drop their taxes, I think. And we'll build a tribal justice. Now, tribal justice, once you build this, this allows you to get your academies and upgrades to the academy. Having an academy helps you get better re retinues and uh, traits as well, I think, for your uh, commander or your governor that's in that settlement. And uh, hopefully that makes him a better governor and uh, increases the income that that um, settlement can make. Uh, moving on, we'll go to uh, Ekbatana. Again, We've got a choice here, but we haven't got a, uh, we haven't reached the next level, so we can't put uh, whatever region we want to put in there. I'll probably put economic in there. Uh, but for now, we don't need them. the population's fine in there. I think we'll put in a shrine to Zeus. Gives us ten percent happiness bonus, and that'll help the public order there. Seems the best bet. Tarsos got a governor in there, so what we'll do? The uh, public order's fine. We'll drop his taxes down now, um, so we don't get a, uh, this loyalty settlement thing that they tend to pick up. Although we could go another term yet, I suppose. What's the difference? 1138 to 40, it's not 300. We'll let him go one more turn. I'll put the tribal justice in there. Again, as I've explained before, for the, the reasons of getting an academy. Uh, who's next? 
Styra uh, Europas. Um, now then. Got regional focus there. Yeah, the population is high enough, so I think I'll make this a fortified region. That'll help keep the public order uh, decent as well. It's on low taxes at the moment, and then we'll just let that grow in its own way, bit by bit. We'll just it'll come in handy if we need some more troops. We can always build this uh, military training, and it's a. Uh, Gives us another outlet for uh, our army. Damascus, yeah, tribal justice in there, we've got in the carcass there. Oh, again, get the academy after that. Get Babylon, now then, um, fortified region, we get decent troops out of. Um, Cilicia, but I'm building this um, mercenary and regional unit centre so we can get these Babylonian horse archers. Uh, these are going to be very useful because um, Chris Everts, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, dropped me a line in the comment section to let me know that these have got a really good charge bonus and he wasn't wrong. So. He said to be a good unit to get, and I definitely agree. I was going to get them anyway, but I didn't realise, I hadn't really noticed that it's such a good charge bonus, so that will be very important. Again, as he said, coming up against the Parthians, so uh, I won't build the um, small foundry in there, I'll build it in Babylon for now. I'll actually retrain them. And recruit there, those three are for Roy, gives an extra unit there. Moving on, we finish up at Antiochia and uh, might as well retrain them. Build the uh, tribal justice there as well. Let's see, what's the Settlement loyalty situation here. Yeah, now he's fine. We can go another turn there as well. Adds a little bit extra money to our economy. All right. Is there anywhere else now? Uh, needs some building work done. Just have a quick look around. Banaka. Uh, let me see. Let's uh, get the population growth measures in there. Opus. Uh, tribal justice in there, but I'm bringing uh, I'm bringing uh, Aristarchus out of there, aren't I? I better do that now before I forget. Oh, right, we've got a uh, family. Oh, that Cletus, that's where he went, was it? Right. Okay, so that's good to build the tribal justice in there. Get Aristarchus outside for now. Um, we'll put these guys in. Shouldn't be in too much danger there. And we'll retrain these um, levy pikes. And uh, that still leaves me a little bit of money I could uh, something with. I don't think there's any more settlements left, was it? Oh yeah, Arabella. Or oh, Arbella, I beg your pardon. Uh, we haven't got a governor in there, so there's no point putting that in yet. Taxes are okay. Train to Hades. Trains are always good, we'll put that in as well. There we go. I think that's everywhere dealt with, pretty certain. No oh, Persepolis. No money left. All we have. Yeah, get 80 error. What does that do, sorry? Happiness bonus. 
but they've got penalties as well, you see, so try and avoid that. So a shrine of Hades it is in there, and that's everywhere done then. Pretty pleased for that, I have to say. Building every settlement. Terrific. Right, let's go and deal with these um, brigands now. It's only three units. Great slingers, can't see the other ones. So we'll just send um, Demetrius, the Heteroi, leave them behind, and we'll send these Epilectoi. And uh, it's all more experience for them, hopefully. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Still within range, let's go. Okay, Eastern Skirmishers, Slingers and a unit of uh, Therakitai Hoplites. They're pretty good, so... Demetrius and the Heteroi can take out these units pretty quickly. Just uh, manoeuvre them correctly and avoid these, and then we can send these guys in to whittle them down. And then we'll hammer and anvil them into submission. Okay, so looks like it's high ground ahead of us. Not too steep. The more than likely be up here somewhere, I would think. Probably up here. Let's find a bit of uh, open ground. There we go, and that should do, I think. from this angle. Yeah, I'll try from here. Okay, Heteroi on the left and uh, Demetrius on the right. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go find them. Oh, there they are way over there. Goodness gracious. Triple speed that, get them up here. I don't think the slingers would do too much damage to any of our units because they should be f reasonably well armoured. Uh, I think we can get in amongst these skirmishers before they can chuck anything, so... But it's just um, sort of like dissecting them away from the Therakotai. We need to do that because they could cause damage to our heteroi or our general. Let's see. Okay, let's get. I'll send the, uh, the heteroi there, general up to there. And we'll bring these guys up to here. Put them on fire at will. Speed this up a little bit. Let's have a look. Where are they? Let's watch for these coming forward and then we'll charge them. There we go. Let's go. Let's charge them straight away. <laughs> That's made them stop. Or is it slinging? Oh, they're slinging us. The only thing is, it'll probably tire them out a little bit. I'll just speed things up a little bit. Well, 
I call our general, we don't want him getting killed. Yeah, they had the breaking. Now he flees the field he takes like a coward. Line. General, we get out of here. Come on, get out of here. That's it. Go in amongst them, come on! Out! Oh, that was close. General, run them down. Oh, you get behind them, General. and finish them off. Love to watch this. Love watching the way they bring your spears down. Really good animation, isn't it? There he goes. All done. victory fit for the gods. A day of triumph to mark with a song or two. Alright, one or two casualties, but not too bad. Five. One's healed, so I lost four there. Um, I don't think I'll send them, if not now. Get one more turn to go, I think. Oh yeah, you need to get these guys in anyway. Okay. Getting them retrained. Oh, I didn't get any money. Damn it. Alright, we'll send them back. Oh no, I've done it again, you dummy. Come on. Enemy army flees. Sir. Yeah, it's good yes, to meet sir. us back here as well. Just join up. I uh, didn't get another bronze chevron of experience for that battle, I thought they would. Never mind. Uh, I'm dare said I'm going to pick up enough experience as we move on. Okay, I think that will do for now. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon.